Hello everybody. Today we are going to be making fried chicken. Um and I'm gonna I had this eye on because I'm making some dirty rice also. In this pot, I have some ground beef that I have browned and this is for my dirty rice. I got it on this. I'm getting ready to show you how to do this dirty rice before I um, get to the chicken. So we got a bonus. This is ground beef. This is a quick, easy, delicious, dirty rice. Um, let me drain my beef. Okay. Drain my ground beef over here. I have already cut up some bell pepper. I did a lot of stuff prep ahead because <clears throat> I didn't want this video to stop. But this is the size bell pepper. I cut that much out of the bell pepper, so it's only a little bit. I'm only making a little bit of rice today. I'm making two cups, which is a little bit because I normally make I can make like four cups, ten cups. I make a lot of dirty rice. I cook it for people. I cook it for the church. So I put, <clears throat> after my beef is ground, I'm sorry, ground, I'm going to add my bell pepper. Then I'm going to add some onion soup mix. I shake it up because I'm only making two cups, so I'm not going to be using the entire pack. So I shake it up to mix the onions and the seasonings in, and then I'm going to open it. Let's see, you can see it's mixed up. And I'm going to uh, approximately add half of that. It's good and dirty. <laughs> um, so I mix that in and turn this pot down. Um, also, I'm measuring stuff for y'all. So I got some chicken flavored bouillon. I use this and I also use chicken bouillon. But I don't have the chicken bouillon today. So I'm going to use this. And then on here it says use one teaspoon and an eight ounce cup of water this is only a dollar i bought this <laughs> but anyway so i'm going to use one teaspoon let me remove this from here so one teaspoon sticking this in here and i'm adding that to it. Just adding flavor okay and stir that in i also like to have a little bit of garlic powder because i got my um oh my ground beef i seasoned that while i cooked it so it's already seasoned so i'm just gonna add a little bit more garlic powder to it i'm just seasoning it now right before the rice so basically i'm trying to season the rice this is my two cups of rice i've already measured it i pour that in there and i'm stirring it up seasoning my rice. I'm going to bring this rice to a boil and then I'm going to put a lid on it and I'm going to cook it on low for 25 minutes. That's how it looks when it's mixed up. Okay. I'll be right back. Let me get my water. I'm back. I had to get some water and check on my baby. He's watching Word Party. <laughs> okay, so for the two cups of rice, I'm going to add four cups of water. So this is two. Okay, and I'm stirring it in, and I'm going to let this come to a boil, because one thing I'm going to do before I put the lid on and turn it on low, is I want to taste my 
brass and make sure it's seasoned good. This recipe is what I use for my quick dirty rice. And I always taste it to make sure that it's seasoned. That's what you should do. I'm going to add some margarine to my rice. Whenever you're cooking something, if you're cooking this and you never cooked it before, you cook it and taste it. If you're cooking this and you have cooked it before, taste it to make sure it's seasoned. I cook dirty rice so many times I can't even count, but I always make sure that it's seasoned well before I present it to other people because if you're cooking something you don't know how it tastes I don't know why you would present it to somebody um, now that's there's a difference in the dirty rice and the fried chicken of course I'm not going to taste the fried chicken but that comes with experience um, on knowing how much to season that with so we're going to let this rice come to a boil and I have to reposition my camera because I'm going to start on the chicken um, I'm gonna move it to the rear, and we're gonna let it come to a boil right there. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, hope I remember. That's hot. <laughs> I have some oil on in this cast iron pot. This is a quick way to fry chicken, but it would be quicker if you were deep frying it. However. I'm gonna fry it in this cast iron pot. Oh, this was the oil, uh, any kind of oil, vegetable oil I used today. This was a new container, and it's just just to show you how much oil I put in there. So this was new, and this is how much oil I have in the cast iron pot. And I have my oil heating up. Cast iron pot is hot. It's well seasoned. I think I got it from my mother. I either got this from my mother-in-law some years ago, or from a yard sale. I'm not sure. I got one from my mother-in-law, and I also got one from a yard sale, so I don't know. But this is a well-seasoned one that I use a lot. Okay, so I already have some flour in a gallon-sized bag, and I'm gonna season this flour. That's my lid, and then I'm gonna season my chicken. You either way, you can season your chicken first, season your flour first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a half. A teaspoon to season my flour. So we're gonna use a half a teaspoon of garlic. I'm doing this for you. Now every time I cook my fried chicken, do I measure my seasoning? No, not with no, not with a seasoning measuring spoon. I do not. I season it. I know how I, you know, I've been frying chicken a long time, like so long. I don't even know. But anyway. <laughs> I do, I'm doing this so you can see, you know, how much it is. I look at it, and I know, you know, from experience. This is, I'm using Laurie seasoning salt today, and I'm also using everything. I'm using a half a teaspoon. Season this, it's about two cups of flour. And so, I have my Laurie's, and I have my garlic powder. I'm stirring my rice. And one thing that you probably, I don't know if, other people you know you've seen this done before but I like to add some Italian seasoning to my um chicken this is uh cheap a dollar this and a half adding that to my flour too you never had that before try it you'll like it it's gonna be good okay so I'm gonna stir this rice up and I'm gonna get me a tasting spoon don't taste it with the spoon you cooking with, y'all. Don't don't be eating out the people food. <laughs> if you cooking for all of yourself, you know that's different. But okay, so I stirred it up. Now I'm gonna get some of this broth out of this, and I'm gonna taste it and make sure it's seasoned the way I want it. Delicious. Now, hmm, it is delicious. Should I add? Let's add a little bit more of this chicken. Um, I'm gonna add another half a teaspoon because I want to hurry up and get it together. What you see, I'm seasoning this for is because I'm seasoning it now, but I'm seasoning the rice when the rice gets done. I want the rice to have the flavor in it, so I got this going. I'm gonna turn the eye down to low, I'm gonna cover it up. And I'm gonna be covered up 
and I'm gonna be right back. This is a chicken. Let me pause. I got to get something for my son. <laughs> 